Hello, in this video we're going to talk about bias by spin. Remember, spin means giving a positive or negative point of view about a subject in order to change the opinion of the audience. We'll talk about how bias by spin can come from people called pundits or from using words with negative or positive connotations. First, let's talk about pundits. Have you ever seen a news video where a special guest was invited to discuss a particular topic such as politics, crime, or sports? This person was probably a pundit. A pundit is a person who has a lot of knowledge and experience about a subject and gives opinions about these subjects in public. Let's see an example. Imagine that in your city there's a problem with the schools Many teachers are unhappy and they say they will quit their jobs unless they get a salary increase. One morning you turn on the radio news and hear someone introduce themselves as an expert in education. This person says that the teachers are right and they should get paid more money. This person is a pundit. That same day, you see an article posted on social media. In the article you read about the opinion of an expert on government and taxes, this person is also a pundit. This pundit says that the teachers already have a good salary and they should not complain. We might think that one pundit must be right and the other pundit must be wrong because he or she is biased. But actually, both the radio news story and the social media article might contain bias by spin. This type of bias is possible whenever a media message interprets or analyzes a situation in the world instead of presenting objective information. Remember, being objective means being fair and based on facts instead of opinions. In other words, there might be bias by spin if a media message says you should have a certain opinion about a situation instead of letting you make your own opinion. There can also be bias by spin in media messages that don't feature pundits. Bias by spin can happen when negative or positive connotations are used to influence your opinion of a situation. Remember, connotation means the ideas or feelings that people have about a word, separate from its definition. Let's say you read a newspaper article about the unhappy teachers. The article says the teachers are demanding a fat pay increase of 10%. But in a different newspaper, you read that the teachers are requesting a reasonable pay increase of 10%. The first article's word choices, demanding and fat, have negative connotations and they might spin the situation so that you have a negative opinion of the teachers. The second article's word choices, requesting and reasonable, are more neutral or even positive. So this article might put a more positive spin on the situation. In both articles, the connotations of the words can lead to bias by spin because they might change the point of view of the audience. Let's summarize what we've talked about so far. Bias by spin happens when a media message tries to influence our opinion of a situation. We talked about how pundits might spin a media message, and we discussed how negative or positive connotations could also spin a media message. Next, we're going to learn how to use media literacy skills to overcome bias.